What's up everyone? This is Sean Rampersad here with the Land Ramp Mortgage Team at TMG The Mortgage Group. Today I'm going to be talking to you about banks versus mortgage brokers. Who should you go with and why? Uh, I'm going to try to be as non-biased. Obviously I am a mortgage broker but I'm going to be as non-biased as possible about this and explain to you the differences between uh, the two and who is going to get you one the best rate which we all want, and uh, two, uh, who's gonna be able to give you the best service long-term. And that's also gonna be very important for you if you're, if you're planning on getting a mortgage today. So let's get right into it. Uh, number one, uh, benefits of a mortgage broker, okay? They're gonna shop at every bank to find you the lowest rates. So a good mortgage broker will take your information and then they will shop you all over the place. They're gonna go to the TD banks and the uh, Bank of Canada, National Bank, uh, Alberta Treasury branches, Scotia banks, you name it, uh, that's where your mortgage broker is gonna go. And uh, they're gonna find whatever the best rate is for you and then bring it right to you and you make the decision on which bank you prefer to deal with, okay? So that's one of the major benefits of dealing with a, um, a, a bank, or, or sorry, a mortgage broker versus a bank. When you deal with the bank directly, they're gonna pull your credit once, and uh, you only have access to the bank's specific products, uh, which, is very, which is very minor. So essentially, they're, they're trying to fit you into their box, okay? The bank's box. Uh, whereas a mortgage broker is taking your information and they're fitting you in with whichever bank you fit in with. So that's uh, something really important to know if you're planning on, uh, on buying a property and getting a mortgage. Uh, number two, they pull credit once and then they shop you everywhere. So uh, this is also another big benefit. So the way the banks work is the higher your credit score, the better the rate that you'll get overall. Uh, so you want your credit score to stay as high as possible. Now, what happens when multiple banks pull your credit, uh, credit score, what happens is your credit score will start to drop, causing you not to be able to get the best rate. So it's really not in your best interest to have your credit score pulled all over the place. You want it just pulled once by a mortgage broker and uh, let them do the shopping for you, okay? Because then they only have to pull it once. It's, uh, it's a significant benefit. I have customers that have gone uh, to every bank because they're really shopping. And uh, so they go to every bank and their credit score just tanks. It's brutal, don't do it, uh, it's a mistake. Number three, mortgage brokers are much easier to get approved through in comparison to the bank. Again, it's because the banks are fitting you into their box, whereas a mortgage broker is fitting, uh, fitting you in with whatever lender uh, your, per, your scenario fits with, okay? Um, not everyone's gonna have the same uh, financial scenario. And uh, as you may know, a lot of us have very unique financial scenario. You may be self-employed, you may get some of your income from AISH or from uh, Canada Child Benefit, who knows, but each bank will take that a different way and we wanna be able to maximize uh, what you get approved for, there, thereby fitting you in with a bank that uh, your scenario fits with. Usually, mortgage brokers will always have a better rate uh, than a bank, okay? So, uh, myself, I'm one of the higher volume brokers in, in Canada and because of that, the interest rates that I get are better than what you can get walking into the bank most of the time. So you may bank with TD Bank, but I still might be able to get you a better rate. And the great part about it is, in most cases, we don't charge anything to do it. Uh, if you're just a regular scenario, regular employment, regular credit, that type of thing, there's no fee to do it. You just get to benefit from, uh, from the volume that we do, okay? Uh, a mortgage broker may be a lot more experienced, okay? So you walk into the bank. Um, I do remember my wife, uh, she, she had worked at the bank at one point and uh, within a couple of weeks, she came home and she said, guess what? They're letting me do mortgages now. And I said, how? I mean, I've been a mortgage broker for a long time, but how could you know everything that uh, you need to know about doing mortgages if you've only been there for a few weeks? 
this is what the bank does and uh, they, they try to get their people to do as much as possible. Uh, the downfall to you is going to be a lot of times they may not know what they're doing and uh, that can screw things up for you. So if you have a condition of financing day in a week from now and uh, you have somebody that's inexperienced working on your, your mortgage file, um, you may not get approved in a timely fashion. And then you may call me at that point and say, hey, this uh, person at the bank, they, they weren't able to get, get it done. Can you help me? And uh, that is how one of the ways uh, we do earn a, a lot of business is because the bank does screw up because they, you know, a lot of their people could be less experienced and faster than the bank. Okay. Mortgage brokers will always be faster than your bank. They want to get it done. Uh, and they have multiple sources. So some banks may be very busy at this moment in time. If we know that you need to get things done in a week, I'm going to send your file, uh, to a bank that has time to take care of you. Okay. And uh, that's a, that's a pretty big feature of dealing with a mortgage broker. Mortgage brokers have for the most part, non biased opinions of, uh, of the banks and of the products that we put you into. So we don't care about the bank. I definitely don't care about the bank. I care about my customer. I want to make sure that you're getting, uh, the product that's going to help you pay the mortgage off as fast as possible. I'm going to, uh, be focused on getting you the lowest rate as possible because I don't care if the bank makes money. I only care about you so that you refer me on to your family and friends and that type of thing. So that's, uh, that's one, another big, big benefit of dealing with a mortgage broker. Uh, we stay in touch with you. So I do do, uh, evaluations on my customers' mortgages every, uh, quarter. So if there's any, uh, say interest savings, that type of thing that we can, uh, we can get for you, I'm going to get that, uh, that interest savings for you. Another huge benefit is, uh, is B lending and private lending. So standard banks do not do B lending or private lending. So if you don't fit into their box and you, you may not fit any other A lenders box, uh, we have options available for you such as B lending and private lending. And those companies are a lot easier. Call me if you have any questions about uh, B lending and private lending. I did a bunch more videos on it, so you can take a look at the channel and uh, it'll explain what that is, how much you have to put down, that type of thing. Or you could just call me and, uh, and we can have a chat about that and I can see if you, if you fit into that category. And finally, I get discounts on things. I get discounts on appraisals. I get discounts on lawyers. I get discounts on a lot of different things. So number one, you don't have to pay your mortgage broker. Number two, I'll be able to get you discounts on things like uh, lawyers and appraisers. So I could potentially save you hundreds of dollars on, uh, on your closing costs because of uh, the things that, that I can cover for you. So uh, another significant benefit of dealing with a mortgage broker is that we can save you money on lawyers and appraisers, inspectors, uh, that type of thing. Now let's talk about some of the benefits of the bank. Uh, there's a lot less benefits of the bank uh, than there is uh, of a mortgage broker, but sometimes they can make exceptions based on good banking history. So. Uh, there's a thing called an internal credit score with the bank. So if you walk into a Scotiabank, for example, you may have an internal credit score that is uh, really good. Now your overall credit score with Equifax may not be the best. Let's say it's at 640 or something and it needs to be 650 to deal with Scotiabank. Uh, Scotia may take your internal score into consideration and say, okay, we will make an exception for this guy because he's done, uh, he's done really well for the past 20 years with us. Uh, and second, you, you may already have an existing relationship. Now I know I have an existing relationship with my banker at the bank. Um, and, uh, I do like to deal with them, uh, sometimes because I know them well. Uh, so if you're not comfortable establishing a new relationship with, uh, with a mortgage broker, you may keep on going, uh, going back to the bank. Okay. Now let's talk about some differences between brokers. A high volume broker will get you a better rate. The way it works is the more volume we send to the bank, 
the bigger discount they give us on the mortgage rates. And so that's one of the big benefits of dealing with me is I am one of the higher volume brokers in Canada. And because of that, I get you a discount on the rate. Uh, second, some brokers have access to more lenders than others and more products. So uh, every year we get messages from lenders that are trying to, uh, we call it onboarding and uh, basically uh, lenders that are trying to do business with us as brokers. Uh, basically, when you're a higher volume broker, more people want to deal with you. More people equals more products from, uh, from those banks and uh, essentially makes it easier for you to get approved through. So that's another significant benefit. My name is Sean Rampersod. I am the easiest, easiest way to get approved for a mortgage in Canada. Please call me if you do have any questions. My number is 780 780- Two seven eight four eight four seven. I've put a ton of information out there. Uh, you can take a look at my website. I'm going to put that in the comments below where I have um, information about all the different types of programs, a first time home buyer incentive, that type of thing. But uh, feel free to give me a call anytime. Uh, again, the number is 780-278-4847. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me make uh, more content. And it makes me realize if people are actually watching this thing. So yeah, please like and describe, uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you do have any questions, please comment below or call me. Um, one thing I wanted to know is if you do have experience yourself dealing with a mortgage broker versus the bank, let me know in the comments below what you prefer dealing with. Just comment broker or comment bank and uh, it's great information for me and everyone else watching the video. Thank you very much for your time and let me know how I can help.